Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. My name is Baron Collins Hill, and in this week's lesson I'm going to talk about a couple different ways that people hold their picks, my suggestions, things like that. If you're looking for more music-related lessons, check out mandolessons.com, and you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel where I put out new lessons every single week. All the lessons are always free. That said, there's a couple ways to donate, which is always appreciated, but not required. Let's jump right into it and take a look at a couple ways to hold the pick. So the general way that I teach to hold the pick in my beginner series is to have a nice loose closed fist. Uh, you know, you're not making a, a tight fist and your hand isn't out flat. And what you're going to do is take that loose fist, drop the pick into your hand uh, with the point headed off to the left, assuming you're right-handed. And you can sort of see how much of the pick is under my thumb. If I use a different kind of normal shaped pick, it looks much the same. Uh, something like that and so you've got your thumb on the front side that you can see and on the back side you just have your pointer finger is the only finger making contact with the pick looks a little something like that again nice and loose is going to be a big benefit for your playing and it looks like that I'll give you a couple different angles to sort of see what that looks like the way that I hold it some people will grab it further up or further down. I kind of tend to think that I'm somewhere right in the middle. So play around with it and see uh, what feels best to you. Everybody's hands are built a little differently, so you got to find what works for you. But I recommend trying out this uh, one finger where your pointer finger is the only finger hitting the back of the pick to start out if you're uh, just getting going on the mandolin. That said, there is what's called a two finger or a three finger, depending on how you count, hold, where you're using two fingers on the back of the pick, your pointer finger on sort of the left edge, if you're looking down at your hand, and your ring finger, middle finger, sorry, on the right side of your pick. This is very over exaggerated, but you've got your thumb on the back, two fingers on that side. And some people find they get a little more control that way. I find it puts more tension into my hand, so I don't use this pick grip. But that's something, it's not an uncommon pick grip, uh, so I'm not going to say don't do it. Just make sure you're nice and relaxed if you do gravitate towards this grip. Again, it can go up, it can go down, your fingers can be closer together or further apart. And just find what works for you. Again, if you're using a different size pick or shape pick, looks a little something like that. Give you a couple different angles. And then, as we pick up the instrument, those two grips are going to look like this. So the, the one finger on the back grip is a little something like this. And a two finger grip. It's going to sound much the same, but it looks just a little different. Same thing with a different size and shape pick. One, one finger on the back, just the pointer finger. And the two finger grip. So there you have it. That's a couple different ways to hold the pick. I hope you found that helpful. Again, lots more lessons over at mandolessons.com. Check that out and see what you can find to interest you. Again, the biggest thing is going to be staying nice and relaxed and not gripping the pick too hard or that's going to lead to a more kind of tension-filled playing experience. And when you've got tension in your, your body, it's going to come out through the music and not sound as smooth as you'd like it to. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.